What is up Logic Gaming, this is The Kill Show, and I bring you guys a 180 kill domination game on the map Meltdown, playing a little bit of Groundwork Domination, and this is my highest kills to date, I haven't even posted this on my main channel yet, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it, if you do, feel free to come over to my channel and, you know, even subscribe to Logic Gaming if you're new, but the class load I'm using here guys is the PDW with the silencer and fast mags, and a lot of people like to use a lot of different stuff on this gun, you know, you see some people use the laser sight, the extended mags, I mean, you name it, people use it on this gun, because, you know, it's such a good gun, but, you know, what combo is right for this gun, because I definitely do believe this is the best gun in Black Ops 2, but it's like, what combo is the best to use with this gun, and I definitely do think fast mags is that, because, mainly, I feel like I can rush so much harder when I have fast mags, because it just takes the reload down so, so much, that I feel like I can just get and go, you know, you don't have to sit there and wait for a reload, you know, I can just go, I know, even though it doesn't have the slowest reload in the world and without it, I feel like I can just rush extremely hard when I have it on, so that's why I do, you know, put, I do put it on my classes, so if you guys aren't using it, give it a try, see how it does for you, but the perks I'm using are Hardline Ghost, Tac Mask, Scavenger, this is the combination of perks you guys will pretty much see me use in every gameplay, it's really just a solid combo, I use it on every single class, so definitely give it a try if you guys haven't, but the kill streaks I was using in this game play a huge part in the scoreline, obviously, because I'm using the VSAT Dogs and Swarm, and I've really kind of experimented also with a lot of kill streaks lately, and I find that this is still just the best loadout really in this game, because of course you get the dogs, kill people, swarm kills a lot of people, and the VSAT, a lot of people like to take the swarm, or the VSAT I mean off, for the load star, and I really don't think that works that well, just because once I get my V set up, I rush so much faster, I get my kill streak so insanely quick because you know you know everybody is, so you have the ability to rush extremely quick, you know, above average. And uh, that's why I love it so much because I know where everybody is, I'm rushing extremely quick and I can pick up kill streaks and stack up really, really fast. So that's why I do like using the V set still. Of course, dogs and swarm they go ham, but a few little things I've noticed lately in people's gameplays is, you know, I see these people get like 110, 105 kill gameplays, and that's because I see them in the game using swarm and dogs at the same time. If you guys watch, I never ever call my swarm and dogs in at the same time because, you know, that just makes them fight for kills. I don't really see the point of that. And yeah, I see a lot of people, they call them in at the same time, and they get what, like 20 kills? But if you call them in separate, they get like 35, maybe even 40 kills. So I definitely recommend you guys call them in at a different time. It just gives you the maximum amount of kills and definitely, definitely is the best way to go in my opinion. So, but a few tips for playing Meltdown. You know, the best way I've found out to play this map so far is really I stick towards the middle of the map actually. I stick towards the middle to the, uh, kind of the left side where I am right now. That's really the area I like to stick in. But really, you will see me pretty much down the middle of the whole gameplay. I'm pretty much going to run around inside the building a lot. And then definitely want to, you definitely want to stay around the building as much as possible. Because either way, it doesn't matter which spawn they have, there's two buildings. And you, if you play the buildings right and you don't camp in there too much in one area and you like kind of run around them right, you can definitely stay there for a long time and do a lot of work. And this is also where C4 comes in handy because if you guys ever see anyone camping in those little windows up top, because you'll see at least like two or three guys all the time, like this guy right here, all you do is toss a C4 up there, bam, you get like a double, triple kill. So if you guys aren't using C4, I definitely recommend that too. Especially when you have a Blackbird up, C4 is probably like the most deadly thing in the game. Honestly, it's insane because when you have C4 up and you know where anybody is with the VSAT, it's just... Uh, you're unstoppable because you can easily time your C4s to kill everybody. It, it works out really well, but here I go on a pretty good streak right here at the end. I mean, you see me just picking guys off left and right, picking up my VSAT, and my I'll get my kill streaks again. I think I get like four or five, maybe even swarms of dogs in this gameplay. It's pretty insane. So I do go on a pretty good train. But that's really what you want to do in this game is you want to try and stack your kill streaks as best as you can, just so you can kind of lead up to more kill streaks, and that's what makes Black Ops 2 so good in general. But this gameplay is coming a little bit to the end. We do end up winning this game, and it goes full length, which you don't see a whole lot in Black Ops 2, which kind of made this gameplay as best as it could be, I guess you could say, because it's you know as I said, it did go full length, so it's pretty lucky for me, and uh, something that actually went my way. But other than that, guys. Gameplay's coming to an end. If you did enjoy it, feel free to come over to my channel, subscribe to Logic Gaming, and other than that, guys, I'm out.